Jared uh, showed me, showed me the band and showed me the song, and at the time I was I was you know trying to stay as busy as I could doing remixes because it was having you know it was, it was so much fun. So I asked Jared if he if he thought they would be up for it. Like, how do you decide what direction to take a rock song because the original version is heavy. Yeah. Well, with, with that song, it was I actually started a whole track, I don't even know if I have it anymore, where I, it was really heavy, and because uh, I kind of figured, you know, the band's a heavier band, so like let's sort of match that aggression or match that energy, and then um, I think at one point I was like, I, I wanted to, then I, I, I got pretty far with that, and then I stopped, and I was like, yeah, I'm going to do something that I felt like was abnormal for for that band or, or for that song something that just gave it a different um, mood and so I went in the direction that I went I'll listen to the song a few times and kind of like formulate a, a rough game plan in my head, but then I'll usually start with one sound that I'll find amongst, you know, like the band will give me stems and then I'll just find either like a vocal part or uh, a guitar part or a, a drum pattern or even just a sound that could be manipulated in Ableton. The, the final thing obviously just comes about with the process of doing it, like you start one way and you go one way and then you find another thing and then it just sort of ends up becoming what it is through the process of doing it. You know, I used some of the guitars and chopped them up. Um, I used some of the, the bass and chopped it up. Um, I used, uh, um, and then I did put some additional instrumentation in to kind of fit more of the, uh, kind of the flow where I was going. Not only, not only did you get a chance to remix Shut You Down, but you you featured in the video. Yep. Uh, Tell me about that. <laughs> well, I got, I got uh, um, Jared asked me to be in the video. Um, I think it was Jared's idea. got to the house, did you know that you're going to be opening up Galvanized Soul's chest cavity? Not really, and not to the, like, the degree of uh, special effects. I think the mom of the band or whoever helping the band put all that together did a really good job. helpful getting to know the guys a little bit in this process or does that not matter I mean it was helpful because because they're they're good they're good kids they're good dudes you know like and they they seem to like it so that that was that was helpful you know and like meeting them like you you you're, they're just like good they're good kids like I don't want to say they are kids to me like and they're good kids and um, they've all got good heads on their shoulders and they seem like they're a band that are, they're all friends and you know they really kind of have a, like a, a brotherhood or a love for each other you can tell they have the band has such a good attitude about just doing stuff that it ended up being uh, a lot of fun that night was a lot of fun to, to shoot with them you got a chance to jam with the kids afterwards that's cool yeah it was great it was it was fun you know it was cool <laughs> Yeah.
You think you could ever be a doctor? Um, my, my dad is, so maybe I'll, when this music thing fails, I'll, uh, I'll take over the practice. Thank <laughs> you.